Hey, what's up guys? This is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the ROG Zenith Extreme X399 Gaming Motherboard. This is the ultimate motherboard for the latest AMD Threadripper CPUs, and we've packed in every feature we could think of. So whether you want an extreme liquid nitrogen overclocking rig or just an incredible gaming system, we've got you covered. This is the latest in a long line of AMD gaming motherboards by ROG. The very first ROG board ever released was the ROG Crosshair in 2006 with the AMD AM2 socket and the Enforce 590 SLI chipset. It's crazy to see how the design has evolved over the last 10 years. Now when you're looking at the ROG Zenith, the first thing you'll probably notice is the massive TR4 socket. And with these big CPUs, they can draw a lot of power. So we've integrated ASUS ProCool CPU power connection design, improving thermal performance and efficiency due to less resistance. Now also talking about keeping everything cool, let's check out the VRM cooler. There's actually two VRM heat sinks that are connected by this heat pipe. Additionally, there's a VRM fan to aid in heat dissipation. This helps to improve stability and reliability under aggressive overclocks, especially under heavy extended CPU load. Next, there are eight DDR4 DIMM slots with support for up to 128 gigabytes of RAM at 3600 megahertz. Next to the memory DIMM slots, there's another slot that looks very similar, but this is what we call DIMM.2. This is a slot that allows you to add two M.2 drives using this included adapter. There's also an additional M.2 under the PCH, which is also utilized to help dissipate heat from the M.2 SSD. There's also SATA and U.2 to cover any other types of storage you may want to use. Now, as with most of our high-end ROG boards on the rear I.O., it's got a built-in rear I.O. shield, so you don't have to fumble with that when you're building your system. It just goes right into the case. Now, on the rear I.O., we've got our Wi-Fi antenna connections. The two on the right are for 2x2 2 2 802.11ac, and the one on the left is for 802.11ad, which is actually two to four times faster than 802.11ac. There's also an Intel Gigabit NIC, and we've included an ROG Arion 10G PCIe card for those that need the fastest 10G speeds. Now one additional thing I wanted to mention about the networking is that both of our Wi-Fi and hardline connections use ROG Game First technology. And basically what that does is it prioritizes video game traffic over the network connection for improved stability and performance. Also on the rear I.O. there are eight USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports with one designated for BIOS flashback. That allows you to easily update your BIOS using just a flash drive. There are also two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one with a Type-A connection, one with a Type-C connection. Below that, we've got our LED backlit audio jacks. Now powering those is our Supreme Effects onboard audio, which features an enhanced 1220 audio codec, Japanese audio capacitors, and an ESS Saber DAC for better audio in music, movies, and games. Next to that, we've got four reinforced safe slot PCIe slots, there are also three RGB lighting zones, the first one here on the rear I.O., and then down here on the PCH with the ROG logo, and then on the right-hand side, along the entire length of the motherboard, there's an RGB strip. You can also connect additional RGB peripherals like LED strips and fans to one of the two RGB headers on the motherboard. So that's the ROG Zenith Extreme X399 Gaming Motherboard. If you guys enjoyed this quick overview, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions about this board, you can ask them in the comment section below or check out the product page. We'll have a link for that in the description. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.